it's really becoming a disaster and I think something should be done about it. Hi guys, so I am in Jaws and my life is like a roller coaster and I said I was gonna like vlog this thing from the beginning but I have been to the hospital and back and I just like brushed up and we're gonna do like a mini fashion shoot today for a brand I work with and also go for the Jaws Death, um, Jaws Death Fest which is exciting concerning that I have always dabbled into programming like Android, I have some couple of apps on the Play Store right now. I'll just search for our media, you see them there. Then I think I'll turn Python or JavaScript, but I don't know because I'm tired. And I also did this ALC um, 4.0. I didn't get the voucher to get the certificate, but you know, your boy was presenting. I got to the last stage, but they told me I'm on the wait list. So hopefully, somebody forgets their voucher and we pass down to the Israeli exam. But yeah, so today is gonna be fun. See you there. Nice. Hi guys, so <laughs> we're meant to be vlogging this boy love is happening. Yep. And this is Jeffa. Hi. She has a brand, Cleo. Tio. 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 The house of S-E-N. T-H-O-E. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the house of S-E-N. Um, T-H-O-E. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're headed to the next shoot and see you when we get there. Hopefully we do a video. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of like struggling to do a video. And we're leaving here already. So first shoot done. We're on to the next one. But like a detour. Because I have to like see someone. Yeah. And I told the person I'm not doing anything at the moment. <laughs> but hopefully I think it's like a free ride. I hope person is going to town or something. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you? Okay, hi guys, it's your boy Alan Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button after this video or while you're watching or do it now so you don't forget. Anyway, so this weekend has been a mess. I have been to Joss and Bank. I'm currently in Abuja right now. I intended on vlogging the Joss trip because two amazing things were happening. I was doing a fashion shoot for a brand I was working with and I wanted or I almost attended the Just Dev um, festival. I call it festival or something, just whatever dev, but it's Sha for programmers, Abi. But like I didn't go, I didn't attend that event. That's for the programmers. I could only do the fashion shoot. And I didn't even vlog that. And we went to some amazing places in Joss, like Teen City Cafe. That I think if I ever go back to Joss, I'll do a video especially for that place because the ambience, the environment is cool and I think a lot of you guys here will love it and if you're traveling back to just like that is somewhere you should go to to like relax and just have like a cool time. Anyway, so today's video I just want to talk about like that and also my pet peeve with hospitals in Nigeria because it seems like it's getting scary by the minute. I wanted to say like hospitals in Jos are getting scary but Right now, it feels like hospitals in Nigeria are getting scary and I do not necessarily want to blame anybody in particular. I want to blame the system in general, like the health system or the medical system, whatever you want to call it in Nigeria. It feels like hospital management is like, they are, they are still trying to get their undergraduates or their diploma. I don't know what's happening. For the fact that you see stats like, okay, um, Nigeria has five bed space by 10,000 people. That is alarming in itself. Because when you go to hospitals, you have to join these lines like this. You see hundreds of people waiting to see one doctor in a general hospital. That is absurd. And the fact that this doctor has this much people to see, the doctor then gets overworked and doesn't really interact with the patient to like find out what's 
the problem is you know it's all about okay thank you next do this test go back and um, to be reviewed with the result went back it's so annoying and when the result is back like the doctor doesn't even tell you like oh that's tell you oh the result is fine or if it's not fine then they prescribe some drugs for you and that's it then on with your life there you go Hopefully you live, you survive, right? It's so annoying right now because I do not know what to do. I have stayed in Lagos. I remember when I stayed in Lagos, I refused to attend, like, go to any hospital. One being that Lagos is freaking expensive and the part of Lagos I was staying was just, like, in no no zone. I had, like, a hospital card to put a hospital card in some hospitals. In that part of Lagos was, like, 10K, 5K or something like that. And I was like, ha, never mind. Thank you. Now, the problem with me going rampant here is that I'm not even providing solutions, right? Like, I'm not even talking about solutions. So what then are we going to do in Nigeria to make this better? Because this thing is actually becoming a disaster and I think something should be done about it. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, see you in my next one. And remember to subscribe, like the video and share and comment. And yeah, feel free to drop down some comments. Anyway, bye, guys.